And we're just going to quickly draw out our walled caraway flower. I'm going to do this really simply so that you can have a go yourself. And we're going to do two flower heads. We're going to do one that's got slightly opened flower heads and one with fully open flower heads. So each stem has these lovely projections coming out of them with white flowers on the ends. Now this one here on the left we're going to do the semi-open flowers. So you've got some that are almost like seed heads and you can have multiples of those on each head. And then you've got some that are sort of half, with half a sort of oval shape with a little, almost like a hat on really. So we're going to do multiples of those on these stem heads and then on the other one we're going to do again several projections like this some coming forward towards you as well and then on that one we're going to do some little just really basic shapes Okay, so here we are. We've got a very simple drawing of our walled caraway, which happens to be the national flower for Carmarthenshire. So it's a very, very important flower for us here in Wales. Um, what I recommend is that you lightly rub down your lines with your putty rubber, okay? Do this as gently as possible, so as to not to affect your watercolour paper, and rub out as much as possible without losing the information that you need. So, what we're going to do now is we're going to paint the stem, and to do that we're going to take some sap green or olive green, whichever one you've got, and we're going to, that's quite dark, that colour. So we're going to add a little tiny bit of cadmium yellow into it just to lighten that colour up a bit. I'm just using a small round brush here, clean water, and then I'm just going to paint the stems of my plant. Just nice and calmly paint those green stems in. And the reason why we're doing this is so that we can see what we're doing really. Once you start filling these areas in, you'll see that things start to make sense. <laughs> Your picture becomes real. The cadmium yellow is a yellow, a warm yellow, um, and more for summer, sort of late spring, summer greens. So it's a good idea to use the cadmium yellow to change the tone of your green that you have in your sets because often they're quite strong the greens people struggle with greens a lot so just knock them back with a little bit of yellow or blue if you want to darken things up I'm working from the top to the bottom so that I don't smudge 
my lines of paint and just gently placing this green on each leaf. If you find that you end up adding a few then don't worry, that'll just make the picture look more realistic. And we're going to leave the, the leaves quite basic. Now you can see some of the lines are showing through. So that's why we rub out the lines to begin with. It's good that you can see that so you can understand what I mean by just making that a, a initial drawing slightly lighter than it is when you first draw it on the paper. So keep painting those leaves on. If you work from the stem outwards and flick with your brush like that, you'll end up with a nice point on your leaf ends. So just work from the stem out like this and then just lift your brush off in a flick motion and you'll end up with a nice point. And you may find that this doesn't happen with your brush and that would mean that your brush is a little bit too rounded. So you might want to use a brush that's got more of a point on it to get those fine ends. I'm just going to take some cadmium yellow now and I'm just going to add a highlight on the left hand side of these stems with the yellow. Now you might not be able to see this very strongly, oh you can now, um, but this will just give your stems a little bit oops, of 3D, of a 3D feel and make the impression of light catching those leaf ends. But just make sure you get them on the right on the well on the right side of the stem but on the left hand side of the stem is where I've put them. Okay. We've also got this um, oops, that's a bit dark, add a bit of yellow. We've got these to do as well, which are the little bits of foliage coming off of the flower head and then the projections on the flower head themselves tend to be slightly darker than the stem and sometimes they sort of look a bit purple in colour so paint your greens in and I'm just going to do a little bit of the flower head and then I'll put it on time lapse again so that you can see how it works out. I've got to keep these videos short. Um, so a lot of it will be done in time lapse. So what I've got is a little bit of grey, Payne's grey, and I'm going to put a touch of alizarin crimson into it. So I get like a, a pinky grey colour. All right, and I've got a, pe a piece of scrap paper here. I always have a piece of scrap paper and I just test the color out. Make sure you test it and dry it so that you can see how it looks dry. Watercolor tends to dry lighter, you see, than um, when it's wet. So always test it and see if the tone is right before you put it onto the plant, okay? so into these little marks we're going to just put in slight dots like this just add little dots of color to those flower heads really rough 
don't be too precise if you were going to do a botanical painting you'd take longer over this but we're just doing quick watercolour representations of these walled caraways so the time that you spend on this is, is up to you you can spend an hour doing this if you want to so that's how I'm going to build up the flower heads and to finish the flower heads themselves once they're dry what I will do is just take a very fine brush I don't know if you can see this this is a double zero and I'm going to take a little bit of Payne's grey and I'm just going to pop in some in, some in the centre, some on the edges. I'm just going to pop a little dot of, you can see that the, because the watercolour is still wet, that those marks are still, are sort of bleeding. And that's what we want. So you need to do a few flowers and then while they're still wet pop in these little specks of grey and just do them very randomly don't put them in the same place on each flower head can you see like that all right and then once you've done that you can let them dry off and um, you can go round some of the flowers with a line, it's up to you. Um, for the seed head casings, these ones, all you need to do is just paint in the tops, sorry, the underside in green and, and the stem projections like this each one in green and then on the top of those marks use that pink grey colour and just pop some of that on top of those marks like that You can see there's a shadow on the left hand side of this and then the top part where the flower is just about to bloom is the grey alliterum crimson mix and then I just put the odd dot of um, very new buds about to appear uh, in a sort of brown burnt umber colour and then if we go up to this flower head you can see that most of the flower heads are done in this grey colour. There's a little bit of a little and crimson coming through but really it's just random dots. It's very difficult to paint white flowers in watercolour. Um, a lot of people use masking fluid and they mask out the white of the watercolour paper um, but in true life the white doesn't really exist. It's always off shades of greys and purples and yellows and all sorts of different things so if you just put random blobs of white watercolour I've outlined some of them using that Payne's grey mix 
I've put the little stems in randomly around them and then I just took a pencil at the end and I've just put the odd drawn more detailed um, outline of some of the flowers with no colour in them so that will give you an overall effect of the flower head okay so I hope you enjoy painting this um, have a go see how you get on and remember that it's called a walled caraway and it's particularly popular here at the National Botanic Garden of Wales especially in the one last na National Nature Reserve and as I said it's the Carmarthenshire County flower so it's a really important flower and something that we really need to look after and plant if you've got a garden okay hope you enjoy it and bye bye for now